Tim did not get on the next boat. That's right. harsh conditions make use 
use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil that would one day become home to the American farm. at work on the land, humans have had one of the most profound effects. The need to produce food for a growing world led to the enormous use, and sometimes overuse, of the land. In our search for more efficient ways to grow food, we often fail to realize the impact of our methods. fertilizers. In farmlands across America, we're learning that by plowing under vegetation containing natural fertilizers, we can enrich the soil without the use of chemicals. In Saudi Arabia and Mexico, we're learning to produce food on desert sea coasts by developing and planting crops that thrive on salt water. Here at Epcot, Today, we're learning to live with the land, discovering better ways to grow food that will assure both human and environmental well-being. How do we meet tomorrow's growing needs for food production, yet still respect the needs of the land? Some of the answers are being discovered just ahead. Hello again, once again, my name is Denise. In our Living Laboratory, scientists from Epcot Department of Agriculture, NASA, and Nestle are exploring innovative and sustainable methods of food production. There are tens of thousands of edible plant species in the world. Most people only familiar with the 30 or so crops native to their region or found in local grocery store. Here at the land, we're discovering some of the lesser known crops are helping us to produce a bountiful harvest. That jackfruit there on your left can grow up to 40 pounds. It's high in carbohydrates, making it a good replacement for a staple crop like rice. It's loaded with vitamins and the seeds are a good source of protein. On the right, here's some rice. It's an essential food for more than half the world's population. Right after the rice, we have another exotic plant you may have seen in its dried state. Specialty lufa sponges were once boards. If picked young, they are edible and a good source of essential vitamins A and C. And of course, everyone recognizes bananas growing both sides of the boat up here. It is the world's most popular fruit. It's also a staple part of the diet in many tropical countries. There's some tiny ones here on your left just starting out. There's a bunch on the ground that fell off. The sea has long been the source of bountiful harvest. Today, we're learning new sustainable ways to help us maintain that harvest. We have sturgeon, catfish, and bass. They're well suited to fish farming or aquaculture. They thrive in high density conditions and they're very tolerant of a wide range of environments. By the way, some of the fish grown here often feature at Walt Disney World restaurants. <laughs> On the right here, alligators are no longer endangered. Over a million just in Florida. Some are raised on farms for their meat and hide. Others play a key role in wetlands conservation. These are here for show. We don't eat them. If they get too big, they go back to an alligator farm and we'll switch out with some smaller ones. But altogether, we do produce 6,500 pounds of fish a year here, just in this one aqua cell. Worldwide aquaculture produces over 20% of all fish consumed today. A field of bright orange pumpkins is an image most of us associate with harvest time. This particular variety on your right grows to over 1,000 pounds. The distinctive color comes from high amounts of beta carotene the pumpkins contain. This is an important antioxidant and a good source of vitamin A. And the white and the yellow. 
One of the advantages to growing crops in greenhouses like ours is the ability to harvest throughout the year. Our crops are growing in sand using a computer-controlled drip irrigation system that delivers just the right amount of water and nutrients right to the plant's roots. About three feet of sand and then cement. Absolutely no soil. The sand's only purpose is to hold the plants up. Here's another way we're experimenting even more of innovative growing methods to help us increase our bountiful harvest. Growing vertically it allows us to grow more in less space. Vertical growing also allows for better airflow through the leaves and helps reduce disease. You can try this at home by growing your plants on trellises or fences. For those of you with home gardens, I'm sure you're familiar with pests. Each year, about one-third of the world's food crops are destroyed by pests. Here at the land, we're using integrated pest management. By planting disease-resistant plants and using beneficial insects to eat insect pests, we've dramatically reduced our use of pesticides. Gourds, part of the same family as pumpkin and squash, there's over 800 species of these plants. In this area, we're growing five very different species. You can see how the snake gourds got their name. The long, narrow gourd can grow up to four feet long. And if the Cinderella pumpkins on your left look familiar, that's because they were once an inspiration for a very famous magical coach. Wax gourds really don't see in this country. A lot of Asian countries use it. It's a vegetable. It grows up to 50 pounds. You can see they're tied with rope as they snap the vines. It's pretty bland. It tastes more like cucumber. So they'll use it in soups or with rice. It doesn't have that much flavor. As we learn more about the world's vast diversity of plants, we move ever closer to true sustainability. In this greenhouse, our scientists are exploring cutting-edge technologies to help us reach that goal. The squash you see here, both sides growing using a process called aeroponics. The roots receive oxygen they need from the air. Water and nutrients are sprayed on when they go through those mist boxes. Aeroponics, no sand or soil. In our laboratories, I've got scientists are working with Department of Agriculture to improve plants through biotechnology. And in this final experiment we're doing with NASA, we're learning how to grow crops for space colonies. This is important not only for food, but also for ways of recycling oxygen and water. Some of the fruits and vegetables, spices you've just seen, we use in a restaurant upstairs, the Garden Grill. It's a character dining restaurant, has Mickey, Pluto, Chip and Dale up there. We also use some of the Roll Stage Show for good nutrition. As the Peach Boys, the Chubby Cheddar, Pita, Gabriel, Food Rapper, Little Richard's Pineapple, plays Judy Fruity at the piano. It is the original singer singing their songs that change words to fruits and vegetables and good nutrition. That also lasts 15 minutes. Shares in there, Bill Musaka, yet the Pointer Sisters, Refrigerator, Police, and Queen as well. As we approach the dock, please remain seated, hands and feet in the boat until we come to a full stop at the end of the rail. Laser Lights Fireworks tonight, 9 o'clock in the water by the countries. Good spot for viewing in front of Mexico or Canada, anywhere facing the United States. You do need to be near the countries that bring a big ball in the middle of the water. That opens up as Laser Lights Fireworks music. Beautiful show, 9 o'clock time. Four pavilions close at 7. This is one of them. Next door, the Living Seas, Universe of Energy, and Wonders of Life. So you may have time to catch one of those, probably just Living Seas, I would say. The other two are on the opposite side of the park. So once again, the closing at 7. This building next door, the Living Seas, that's the aquarium. Across the front on the opposite side, Universe of Energy, the right of the dinosaurs, Wonders of Life, and Body Wars. Four of us closed at 7. When we stop, please gather your belongings, lower your head, watch your step. you will exit to the right and the rear toward Food Rocks. Thank you for joining me. No have a great evening here, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night.